try and we'll just go slow and you always got to be looking so it's sometimes it's nice to have someone walking behind it or okay a second person sitting there watching because you just turn your head all the time. Yeah. I've never hoped from the Owl Research Institute in Charlotte, Montana. You can see the four-wheeler and we're doing our dragging now so we have old climbing ropes stretched out across two four-wheelers and we're running transects through the grasslands to try to flush short hit owls off the nest. And so when they flush out in front of us and then we go over and we try to find the nest. Sorry, sorry, just keep going. We're gonna get one. It's one time. Twelve. Oh, it's a it's a duck nest. We just flushed a duck. I didn't get a good look at the female. Might have been a shoveler. But anyhow, so twelve eggs you guys counted? Yes. Yeah, so we have twelve eggs. And what we like to do after we find them, we're not studying ducks, so uh, it's just nice to look at them and then we'll cover up the eggs so a raven or something doesn't you know see it from the air who knows if the skunk will find it so um but anyway we're interested in short ears but here this is what i just get used to the color all right <laughs> yes it's a good thing that i was a baseball player <laughs> all right so you can see the shape versus the owl shape and the color but they can be really tricky when you start seeing like pheasant eggs and different species what you want to do though is you click down. If you really want to do it, you can click the down and there's identification guides that you can use to identify the, the down and then use that and maybe measure with data, color this and that and you can figure it out. So, so anyway, that was very nice. Then cover it back up with grasses and whatever else. She knows where it is and she'll be back and she'll get back in there. Alright, now target animal is short at all. So. No more sparrows, no metal arcs. <laughs> Got a couple in each Although pocket. if we see curl, we're going to mark curl. You got one! Yeah! There's a pellet. So we're in the spot. <laughs> so, so you okay. okay, and so if you come in from that way and just hold the feet. Still getting used to this. And then, yeah, no, you'll get used to it. Okay, I got right there. So, so yours was here. This one was there. Alright, I'm gonna keep searching. Okay, well, we just finished it up uh, dragging the field for short eared owls. And we're a little bit late. We did find a couple chicks and a couple fledged birds and no nests uh, and, and a lot of adults. So there's a fair number of birds around. Uh, maybe there's more fledglings out there than we think or more chicks have dispersed from the nest. So, you know, just given the circumstances this year with a lot of long-eared nests, the coronavirus, and then the rain we've had until just, you know, a couple days ago, uh, we're definitely a few weeks behind. So hopefully we'll find some late nests, but we're getting the system down for next year anyway. I think it went really well. We saw a ton of owls out there today. We must have seen 20 to 30 owls. Hard to keep track of them all. Unfortunately, we didn't find any actual nest locations. We did find some chicks recently out of the nest um, and a possible nest that they had used, um, some fledged chicks that were already flying. Um, so we may be a little late this season for finding um, nests. We had a lot of rain and other complications that got us out here a little bit late. So it is a good nesting season. We saw tons of owls out there. So the owls have to be nesting. There's lots of food for them, lots of food for the chicks. So we're gonna keep searching. <laughs>